Hello and welcome to the final hashtag how I safari review ever of all. Just kidding, it's just the final one of this batch. I will do plenty more in the future. Now we are ending this little, uh, uh, how many are there? This little batch of five how I safari reviews with a figure that I have had for quite some time. It came out several years ago now in 2017 and that is this gorgeous Quetzalcoatlus. Now, the reason I'm finally getting around to reviewing it now, after all this time, is because <laughs> I won't name any names, but the store I got this from took a very long time to get it to me. It was, like, out of stock when I first ordered it, and then I never got notified when it was in stock, so I had to, like, send them a message and get it all fi it It was a long process, but it's finally here. It's actually been here for a while. I'm just finally getting around to talking about it. It's been here for about a year and a half, probably. Uh, it was still a bit late, though, and I'm a bit late on the review but it's finally happening. And if you would like to purchase this, or indeed any Safari LTD figure, you can do so at safariltd.com or at amazon.com slash safariltd, and you can use the coupon code BIONIC to get a discount on your purchase. <laughs> Plugs! I'm so efficient. Um, so anyhow, uh, this is an awesome model. This is actually, like, one of my favorite pterosaur fig- it's probably my favorite pterosaur figure, period, besides one in particular. Um, that I won't mention here because it's by a different manufacturer and I will not name any names. I will stay true to the guidelines. So anyhow, um, this one is still just awesome though. And as far as like a Quetzalcoatlus goes, I can't think of a better figure of the genus than this one. So first of all, it has an awesome little color scheme. I love the coloration on the head. It has this very light nice just saturated blue sort of blended in with some white and then this very pale pink on the crest it it seems like the colors you would like paint a child's bedroom but somehow it works in concept these colors don't sound appealing at all but in practice they just look so so nice and the way they work with the darker brown uh, beak and then the sort of more saturated orange sort of browns on the body uh, it just looks great. It's very nice. There's some very nice, like, subtle color blending on the wing here, and some very nice little paintwork on the picna fibers. The picna fibers are sculpted really well, too. They're not the most, like, crisp uh, sort of looking detail, but they're just very, like, shaggy and aerodynamic looking, and I really, really like them. There's also, I think the eyes, I can't tell if they're, like, I think they're just, no? They're not straight up red. They're, like, a slightly, like, kind of blood orange kind of color if that makes sense, you know, like, like the fruit, like an orangish red is what I'm trying to say. There's not much to the figure. It's, it's very small. It doesn't weigh much. It's just sort of a very thin, delicate little thing, but it's just so nice. Um, one of the best aspects of it as well is the accuracy. This is a super accurate reconstruction of Quetzalcoatlus, and a lot of companies, a lot of paleo art in general, just gets this genus wrong. It wasn't just the big pterosaur, it had very odd, specific proportions. It had a very long neck, a huge head, a tiny body, and honestly, proportionally kind of small wings. And a lot of paleo art just doesn't do this animal justice, but this is like a perfect reconstruction of it. It would have been cool to see it in a standing pose, because as dark and pterosaurs do look very strange and enigmatic down on the ground, but I like it in the flying pose the way it is, and I think it's just such an attractive model. I'm gonna be giving this one a casual perfect 10, which may seem like a crazy rating, because again, there's like not much to it. It's a very small, slight little piece of plastic. <laughs> it weighs like nothing, um, but there's just nothing to complain about with this one. It's not the most crazy epic figure on the planet, but I just, I can't find it in my heart to deduct even a half a point from this thing for, for any reason. There's just no reason to. It's a great Quetzalcoatlus. So where is, I lost the size compare. Here it is. Here's the Utyranus, I found him. And uh, there's the size of it. It is uh, a little smaller than I'd like it to be, but I guess it's a pretty good size. Uh, next to like the T-Rex and stuff, it does look kind of on the smaller side, but I think it still works well with the overall Hell Creek a group that Safari has built up over the past few years. I think it's a great, uh, crucial member of that group. Uh, I actually have a group shot of all of those figures together that I will show on the screen right now, because why not? You can see the brand new 2020 Pachycephalosaurus and, and Edmontosaurus there as well, and I totally recommend both of those figures as well as this one, although I do admittedly recommend this one a bit higher because I just really, really like it. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the flip. Actually, that's that's an incredibly awkward angle. We're gonna forget that I zoomed in on that.